ready to do this daggum hot peppers. <laughs> y'all stay tuned. Hey y'all, another day at the honey comp. And you know what this means. We're gonna use the dehydrator for the first time. And today is the day that I am gonna do some hot peppers, honey. Hot peppers. So if you're interested in seeing how I use this dehydrator to make some hot pepper seasoning, stay tuned. So on this part, on this paper right here is ghost peppers. All different type of varieties of them, okay? On this one is jalapenos and one palapalano. On this one, I have a lot of the chili and some of them are still green and that's what I wanted when I was picking those. On this tray are reapers. A lot of them. On this one is my cayenne. And some of them are chili. Hey, honeybees. So I had this started at 10, uh, for 10 hours. Um, 140 uh, degrees Fahrenheit so as you can see here this is how you would do it you would hit that time button and you have your hour setting where you can go up and down for the time then you'll hit it again and then it'll go over to this side and you'll set your temperature okay so it has it all in the book for you if um, you're not uh, really not understanding the book you can also google it and it'll give you the exact same the time and everything it'll break it down even in simpler form for you because sometimes manual books are not just uh clear on how they're explaining things for you to operate a machine so um i i I was just really going through it, so I finally um, got it down by Googling it because it just don't make any sense to me. But I had it set up for 10 minutes, I mean 10 hours, sorry about that, and for 140 degrees, okay? And that's how you would do the hot peppers um, for the Magic Meal dehydrator. So we'll check back with this. And um, we can get started making our powder. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is take off this top. Set it over to the side. And we're going to start with the chilies. And go ahead and put them in here. Put it in the grooves, y'all. Put it in the grooves. Okay. And then I'm going to put something over this. My, that's, um, I don't want the fumes to get up in my eyes or anything like that. So give me a minute and I'll get something real quick. So I've got a little napkin here. Second thing you want to do is go ahead and plug it in. that everything is in here and good and secure we're going to take a pulsing we're going to pulse it first and then get it broken
broken down pretty good. And what and the other thing that I want to tell you as well too, I have a strainer. So as you can see, I left the seeds in <clears throat> because I want to save the seeds for pepper flakes as well too. I'm making pepper flakes, a mixture of those, a mix, so I can have some pepper flakes and powder. So if you're going to make you uh, some seasonings and you want to leave the seeds in so you can have some pepper flakes as well, that's a good. And if you don't, take the seeds out. And then that way all you have is the skin to make the powder. Okay? So this is going to make a lot of noise. And um, I'll come back with the finished product so that way you can see what I've done. Now that it's good and grinded, I'm going to show you what it looks like. And I'll bring it up a little closer so you can see it. Get the spoon. See there, y'all? Now, Elle likes it also with the seeds and the powder to make it even hotter, right? So what I'll probably end up doing with these is doing a little where I can have me a little seeds and the rest of it just in powder, okay? Because um, I got a recipe that I was going to do with this. So um, <clears throat> put this back on here. And unplug it since I'm not using it. And so, um, it's locked in here. So what I have is a little strainer. I'm going to put it inside my jar with this. And then I'm going to um, sift out the seeds. And I'm going to put them in my other little jar right here. These little seeds right here. You can also use those seeds as well to... Put in your garden and have some more. It'll be heirlooms. Just thought I'd throw that out there to you. Okay, so here we go. So you can see what's going on. I'm going to pour a little bit over in here. And then we're going to sift it. And after I get that in there, I'll get back with you. Newsflash. Lorenzo said keep the seeds. Okay, we're going to keep the seeds in here. So you already know it's going to be extra hot. Extra, extra hot. But here is the powder, y'all. And it is so pretty. It is so pretty, as you can see. And it is fiery. Because uh, I was sneezing before I got back on the camera. That's how <laughs> strong it is. Okay, that's how strong it is. But yes, this is a way you can do your hot peppers as well and turn it into a powder form as well. And I will be filling this jar up and filling this jar up until I am done with that. And then you'll have your lid. And all you have to do is put it on. And, yeah, there it is, y'all. The green chili habanero powder seasoning. Just like that. And I'm going to do the same thing with the chilies as well. The red chili habanero. I'm going to be doing the same thing as well. So... I'll be using a smaller container for that. Until then. <laughs> so if you enjoyed this video and the content that I gave you, feel free to do it yourself. And I challenge, I challenge, let me see. I know. So I made my decision and I'm going to pass this on to Cassie from Becoming a Farm Girl. Here you go, Cassie. 
Thank y'all for coming to LNL Honeycomb Homestead. And hey, y'all, let's grow. Let's grow.